Hello, welcome again. Patrick T here. Thank you for joining me here, guys. T today, guys, we are reviewing the man made. Um, shout out first to James Dean Wilson, very good friend of New Zealand Fragcom. Guys, um, he saw my Naxos, he saw my Fuhr Haban, and he goes, Why not check this out? Pinoy Kiwi Sand, the, the sweet tobacco 1821 spirit is made by man-made um i was really hesitant for this i was really really hesitant i goes ah nah another pure haban clone Jean, my mate james wilson insisting me to review this and i was surprised guys there is no presentation separate video today because this is very straightforward guys look at the packaging very cool this is like very old school you know century ago that like 1860 you know like the 1780 type of box is a very very like straightforward this is the bottom this is the top and it has like flammable yeah very straightforward and then guys this bottle i really like the bottle as well a very unique one it's like it's like a whiskey kind of bottle to me like look at that this is very cool it's just a sticker clear glass 1821 is right there the sweet tobacco the man made and the cup guys this has like metallic feel to it and there's a plastic doesn't click to its place it's light it's secure but please do not ever 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 pick your fragrance on the cup because no you will cry if something happens and the atomizer is chrome it's very decent long top and this yeah um, this is the atomizer very decent atomizer nice distribution it's really cool our uh, presentation almost because of unique and it's very nice concept nine out of ten presentation how does this smell this smells different very different from pure haban from naxos very different from walgrian and this is really different guys it opens guys into the booziness there is a red wine here um let's let's break down the notes first um it opens that boozy vanilla tonka bean it's there is a sweet Vanilla, boozy, and spicy saffron. Let's break down the notes so you will really understand. The notes, guys, is just I research the notes. Fragnantica versus um, the other website. It's they are similar, but they don't really break down into top, mid, and base. So we will just put there all the notes. So it has red wine. It has your vanilla. It has your tonka bean. It has your wooden notes, it has your exotic notes, moss, it has your saffron and the citrus note. Yes, guys, this would open up into like um, gourmandish, uh, vanilla, red wine, bushy, and there's undertone of fruitiness, um, sweetness on it. After that 10 minutes, guys, all that sweetness will fade away first and it becomes a saffron the saffron guys is very realistic i would not really say this is like a fear haban no this is not like a naxos no this is not like a real white there is a vibe but right the real vibe i watch all the review the good the honest and the hype review they said like pure haban naxos there is nothing there guys i would say to my nose my asian nose there is a vibe of wood for greatness there because of that saffron and the sweetness of vanilla and other sweet there it becomes that vibe without the wood the main flair of the wood for greatness guys is saffron and there's nutmeg there is the sweetness and there's the spiciness but the saffron is, is, is with covered with sweetness, creamy sweetness. That's why it cannot really burst. But saffron is the main flavor. But he was wrapped into that sweetness of 
um, I think there is honey here uh, because the uh, the dry down becomes like honey yes but there is no honey in the breakdown you know um, of that vanilla creaminess and honey the saffron was wrapped into that it cannot burst like the other hand the wood for greatness has the saffron there is wide open and the under tone of nutmeg the sweetness that's why but this one I could not see the route to become a pure Habana Naxos guys um very different would I love this I really like it I was surprised I just said to you know I don't want to review this because ah, another pure Habana sweet everything is subtle guys this is very different level different to pure Habana uh, wild Rian, different with Naxos this is in a different level this is a fragrance on its own four years ago uh, there is no wood for greatness yes it's just a bible pure haban maybe there's a putting it there go try it yourself guy every the sweetness here is subtle vanilla a small hint of honeyish um gourmandish sweetness but it's not really that sweet very fine well blended um, red wine the saffron the spiciness the woody notes uh the the musky the citrus is and a tonka bean sweetness and vanilla it was really well blended not overpowering sweet not overpowering spicy not overpowering woody that's really blended there is a red wine opening you know but guys i would say this is a 9.5 out of 10 again uh, I was surprised. Thank you, James Dean Wilson, for this. A 9 out of 10. Um, maybe the opening, there's just a booziness, but when it's dry down, guys, the saffron, the sweetness of vanilla and tonka bean is really subtle. I love it. I love it. I love it. Perfect. Nice. Asian nose. Worthy. Guys, that's it. And when to wear this, I would say, you know, spicy warm so it's winter and fall day and night boozy you know you're sitting down i really cannot sense the tobacco i think this is tobacco right it's a sweet tobacco i could not sense the the the, the tobacco leaf or the dryness of tobacco is covered maybe to the saffron and the tonka bean there is, but I could not really sense the sweetness or the anything that dry or pipe tobacco or cherry tobacco here. I don't understand why is it sweet tobacco. There is no so tobacco notes that I could sense maybe to my nose. But yeah, that's my question. So, but it's our 9.5 out of 10 cents. Longevity is good performing, long, very nice projection. Uh, good CIs, good longevity. So 10 out of 10 for, for the performance. I love it guys. So I would say general 9.5 out of 10. Thank you again guys for joining me. Check this out. This is a, um, an Asian word. We, that is me guys, Patrick T. Patrick T always saying to you, it's not how you look. Nah, it's always how you smell. God bless guys. Peace out. Boom.